On this episode, we're getting ready for Christmas. So, Christmas is fast approaching. So what we thought we'd do, we got together and we're gonna put a three part series and give you six tips for preparing your home for Christmas. Now, kids are coming home, they're gonna be home for two months, you're gonna be off from work, so we thought we'd take the time now, throughout the month of December, to give you tips to prepare your home and get ready for this exact thing. Now, the first thing we're gonna chat about is maintaining your backyard. Now. The kids are gonna be playing outside, so you wanna make sure that um, there's not a lot of places to hide for snakes and spiders and things like that. So the first thing we wanna try and get done is obviously mow the lawn. Now, I'm not saying that you don't upkeep your lawn, but we may wanna just take a little bit of a look at it to make sure that sometimes those little bit of neglected spots, especially if you do have a bit bigger of uh, um, land, there may always be some neglected spots that may um, not necessarily cover on your normal thing. So this might be a good time now to find those spots where there's extra long grass and get them cut. Next thing would also be weeding the garden and the grass too. Now, um, you gotta think the kids are gonna be playing outside, they're gonna be playing soccer and footy on the grass. And the last thing you wanna do is have uh, you know weeds and uh, even bindies sticking up on the ground. So that's a, another good thing too. And also what they may be doing is getting a nice slippery side ready to go. So the last thing you wanna be doing is sliding down a slide and getting a bindi or a weed stuck in a bad spot. Um, also outside is, is getting all the pots and the plants free of logs, bricks, even old toys. Let's face it, kids playing outside, they believe in old toys. Um, if you ever have any, um, also pets, pets toys, getting them all cleared up and free because let's face it, summer's the time we're playing cricket outside, the kids are gonna be playing, and even me too, dad's friends. So you need to get the backyard in order. Uh, next thing um, is clean the pool. So obviously um, over the winter months, you may have your pool covered, but you may not. So there could be a lot of uh, tree shrubs and leaves that have actually blown into the pool. So you definitely want to get that pool ready. If you have not already, you may actually have because we have had a few quite hot days in past. So your pool may be already ready to go. If it's not, definitely get it checked out. Get the pool cleaned. And even if you think it may need a little bit of a service, contact your pool guys. They'll be able to come out there, check all the motors and getting ready for the warmer days. Uh, next thing would be uh, check your outdoor dining set. Now, um, also too, you know, this could be uh, outside for quite a long time. Um, you may have not used it. You may have still used it because it may be uncovered, but you may have some other ones that you pull out just for the warmer months. So you want to just give it a good little bit of a check. You don't want uh, your grandmother coming over for Christmas lunch and sitting on a chair that shouldn't have been sat on. We can leave that one for your imagination. So yeah, check all your furniture. Uh, make sure you know there's no spider webs. You want to give them a good, good uh, clean down and get them all prepped for entertaining. And the last thing about maintaining your backyard is get your barbecue ready. Now. Let's say you've got a gas barbecue, you really want to make sure you've got the gas full. Last thing you want to do is you're there, ready to cook the barbecue, no gas. So make sure the gas is filled up. If not, grab yourself a spare one because uh, over summer you can go through a couple of different gas bottles. Get it all cleaned out, get all your utensils and all that ready to go. If you don't have a gas barbecue, make sure you've got plenty of fire, plenty of coals ready to go because the last thing you want to do is be heading down to the shops, getting everything ready for the barbecue. So if you get it all ready now, when the kids are home, you're quick, ready to go for a quick little barbecue on a nice warm day after you've finished playing in the pool. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about in this one is pest control. So as you can, as you're well aware of, the, the days are getting longer, the days are getting warmer, and this is a very, very good time for a lot of those uh, creepy, crawly creatures starting to come out fly around at night too. So you definitely wanna make sure that your pest control uh, is up to date. So there are a lot of different ways that new homes get built taking care of pest control and even in the older homes too. So it's definitely a good idea to also get like the sprays done once a year, but you may have a, a pest control system that you do have to maintain every year. So now is definitely a good time to look into get that either resprayed and, and checked up on 
with all the spiders and all the fly creatures coming out not only at night but also during the day too get yourself a bug zapper ready for the night all right guys so they were the two first things we're going to cover maintaining your backyard and pest control now over the next couple of weeks we'll go into the next few things um, i'd like to know in the comments below things are that you need to maintain in your backyard and what you do for pest control to protect your family and your friends when they're over for parties. And if you have any tips for anyone else or any other questions that anyone else can help, leave them in the comments below. All right, guys, thanks for watching me. Stay tuned for next week's. We'll be covering another two tips of getting your home ready for the Christmas holidays. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.